Hello gamers, welcome to episode 15. Okay. There is one thing I want to get done today. And that is... Gelid Cryotium. This is used for a lot of things. So, we are gonna learn how to get the Gelid Cryotium. It's actually quite a long journey. To get Gelid Cryotium, we're gonna need a Magma Crucible. And we're also gonna need the Cryotium Dust, which is you, which is received by get a crafting like this. And you also need Bliss Powder, which can be found by putting Liquid XP and shoving it into Snowball. <laughs> and we have to use a Fluid Transposer. So. I guess let's get that going. First, let's go and talk about XP. And I want to use the Experience Obelisk. So, let's go ahead and get this going first. We're gonna need Energetic Alloys, Solarium, which is just gold and soul sand. Okay, not too bad. And this Soul Attune Dye Blend. Shouldn't be too hard. Alright. We already got four uh, those things. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get our energy, energetic alloys and solarium and experience rod first. Oh, and the food tank's not too bad either. So let's do all that real quick. Alright, gamers, I just basically mass produce some. Energetic alloys and solarium. So, hopefully, that could get us what we need here. Let's go ahead and get these. Alright, experience rod. And the only thing we need now is this middle part, which is the saw machine chassis. And I'm gonna need some organic black dye. So, coal and slime ball. Alright, for the organic brown dye, I'm gonna need twigs and pruning and slime balls. Okay, how much do I need? Let's see, 12. Alright, let's go ahead and make a good amount here. Hopefully, I won't ever need this again. Alright, hopefully, I do have enough. There we go, some soul attuned dye blend. Let's go ahead and make it 12. There we go. And hopefully, now I just need a simple machine chassis. Do I have one? I do not. It's all right, I can always make one. Pretty easy. And the soul attuned, and then cook them up together. There we go. And hopefully, got our XP obelisk which we can use to actually store our XP all our levels in this one little obelisk and we could take them out retrieve one at a time ten at a time or all and same with storing them and the best part is it actually stores them like accurately very nice all right we got the XP part done let's go make the fluid transposer it's a pretty simple recipe, gamers. There we go. And we're gonna use XP and snow together, I believe, to get Bliss Powder. There we go. That is how we're gonna get Bliss Powder. And now we're gonna craft Cryotium Dust. And for that, we need the Magma Crucible to melt it down or turn it into a liquid form. There we go, got the magma crucible. And the only thing now is we, I want to automate our snow. So this should be easy, just a glacial precipitator. And it's going to have to be paired with the aqueous accumulator because it's going to need water to operate. All right, we have all the machines that we need. And you know what? I'm gonna set it up right over. Hmm. It's weird. 
not having not knowing where to place them I think I want to move this over there just to make it a little bit more simple so let's do that all right now we got more space I'll set it up right over here just gonna connect some cables let's try to make this compact as possible let's take that out all right so First, we are going to want the glacial, glacial precipitator making... No, we want to set up the accumulus. Aqueous accumulator first, right here. Let's put water in both sides. Alright, let's put water in both sides. There we go. And it's going to fill up with water and we'll put the glacial precipitator on top. Like that. And it should fill with. Yep. We were gonna need snowballs. Great. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. We're gonna make it output. Huh. I kinda know. Did I mess up here? <laughs> Let's see. There we go. You moved it back one so it's gonna go I want it to go into a drawer actually compact and drawer here we go I want it to output on the right please there we go it's gonna take the snowballs take water turn it to snowballs put it in the compacting drawer which will then receive be received by the fluid transposer right here there we go nope I want it blue yes I want it blue there we go it will get received by the fluid transposer which will then fill it up with XP coming from the top there we go Will that work? Empty fill. Hmm. What's happening? Oh, it needs to store some XP. There we go. We'll put it to blue. Okay, that's weird. How do we get XP into the fluid transposer gamers? Let's see here. Yeah, so it wants XP into the snowball. Okay, let's go get ourselves a fluid tank. Maybe that would work. Maybe it needs a buffer. Can we go for a pressurized one? There we go. Can. Oh, oopsie. So we're gonna shift right click. There we go. And we want this to push into here. Good. Now that's being pushed. Oh, wait. Maybe I just messed this up. I'll, I'll explain it a bit. But for now, let's just keep it that way. And then we want it to be crafted into cryodium dust. Which will then go into the magma crucible. Yup. Actually. Let's go ahead and place it right here. And I want it to insert and then output. Do we have crates? So it's gonna receive from this crate and then output from there. Alright. Let's see. Good. This is going pretty slow, so we're gonna upgrade our machines using these upgrade kits. Let's go make them super fast. Here we go. Let's upgrade them. There we go. That should go a little bit more faster. Hopefully. Oh, what's this? It's just out of water? That's weird. It should be receiving water. Oh, here we go. 
Ha, ah, that was weird. We fixed it, gamers. There we go. Bliss powder is coming in. So, from bliss powder, we're gonna use that to make cryotium dust. Which will then go in here and get melted. Oh. We don't need a crate for that, we need a drum. I'll just use an iron drum for now. There we go. It could take 256 buckets, and I have half of one. <laughs> this might take a while. And that's why we're making these, actually. So that we could upgrade to the signalium, and then finally into the resonant upgrades. The signalium's not too hard. You just need some cryodium dust, signalium ingot, which requires this recipe, and electrum, which we already know how to make. So, let's actually go make, let's go ahead and mass produce some signalium while we're at it. So we're gonna need redstone, silver, and copper. Let me calculate how much I need to mass produce this. Okay, gamers, I got quite a bit here. 10 stacks of redstone, 3 stacks of copper, and 1 stack of silver, which should produce a hefty amount of signalium here. I'm just 4 stacks of signalium. You know what? While we're at it, let's go ahead and mass produce electrum while we're at it. So that's 28 blocks of signalium and 4 ingots. And we also got quite a bit of electrum too. So let's go ahead and get these out. You know what gamers? Why not go to the resonant one too? What do we need here? Just need some... It looks like Ethereum base and sand. Which is plat lead. Ender Pearl. I do believe I have a little bit of plat. Alright gamers, I got I got quite a bit of things here. Which I'm gonna combine for an Ethereum base. There you go. Ethereum base. I'm gonna grab some sand out of my dank no actually. Let's see how much we're making. 32. And that's how much we're gonna that is going to make some good old Enderium ingot, which is great. Because we need that for the upgrade kits. We got 16 blocks of Electrum and counting 17. Alright gamers, we should have enough materials to do a little bit of upgrades out here. Electrum and Signalium, we should have quite plenty for the for a good bit of time. At least that's what I'm hoping. So here we are. We got our Ethereum, Signalium, and Electrum. Go ahead and make some of these. Oh, we can't because we're gonna need some Blizz powder, which we are quite happy mass producing here we are there we go we're gonna need as much as we can oh i forgot about lumium yeah in gods it's gonna take glowstone silver and tin that's quite excessive how much glowstone we have not a lot gamers won't lie to you Ooh. Let's go for 16. And 16 silver. 48 tin. You know what? Let's upgrade what we can. We have the signalium upgrade kits. Go ahead and upgrade this so it goes a little bit faster. Okay. And we got our good old Lumium. Actually, let's go ahead and get this going too. 
Let's grab four more. There we go. And just like that, we can get our resonant upgrade. Kit. This is quite an easy recipe. It's no problem. There we go. Let's get this to max speed. There we go. That is as fast as it goes. Unless we give it some augments here. Hmm, is this worth it? It's gonna increase the processing speed, but it's gonna cost more energy. It's already eating up 60 RF per tick. For now, let's go ahead and upgrade the rest of our machines here. We got one, two, three machines that needs to be upgraded. All right, here we go. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Good. You know what other two things could upgrade? Our energy cell. Thank goodness. All right. Where's my energy cells in my hand? Oh, it's with the builder. So let's go grab that real quick. I believe it's in the dimensional world. Grab lava. All right. All right, there we go. We upgraded the energy cell. And honestly, we're gonna need to put a lot more energy in here. Oh, snap, it's more charcoal. Sure is here. There we go. Actually, probably a lot more. There we go. 768 charcoal. There we go. That should solve our little issue here just a little bit. Ooh. Our energy regeneration is kind of slow, ain't it? Yeah. I would say so. It's not able to keep up. We could upgrade them to Signalium too, so let's do that. Oh, we're gonna need some more Blizz. Alright, let's upgrade these boys. There you go. And I believe that earns me one more slot. Yep. Let's go ahead and get more fuel catalyzers. Here they are, so we need 9 of these. Alright, there we go. There we go, it's producing 100 RF per tick. So that's 900 RF per tick total. And hopefully the fuel catalyzers will help out. Because I don't want to run out of canola oil. Look how it's draining. Alright, we got our aluminum from the machine. I'm hoping... You know what? Let's go ahead and upgrade everything else to the good old resonant. How much do we need? We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of these. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And seven. This can now hold 50 million RF. It's quite a bit to be honest. But the question is, do we have enough RF in general to get there? 24 million. It's not good enough. Let's go ahead and wait on the Blizz. The Blizz powder. I'm gonna need a lot. I'm gonna need quite a bit so that I can get some cryotium and you know what I'm gonna do and actually I'm gonna use it as fuel instead of water I mean as a coolant instead of water over here for my compression dynamo so that they could be they could produce a lot more RF so let's do that but we are going to need a special augment which is the closed looped cooling that is what we need I need like nine of those for now so let's get this going thin plate hammering thin all right all right here we go we got nine closed loop cooling 
which is nice. And, that being said, let's go get some jelly cryodium so that we could use it. Actually, I think first order of business, we're gonna need... How am I doing in redstone? 99 blocks, okay. We are going to need 9 of resonant upgrade kits, so let's do that first. So we're gonna need 4 times 9, 36 buckets of jelly cryotium. So, how much we got so far? Just 5 and 3 fourths. Well, this might be a while, so we're just gonna be waiting. And honestly, gamers, I actually ran out of um, platinum to keep producing myself some resonant upgrade kits. It's big unfortunate. Alright, the best way for me to get plat is just pulverizing nickel. And I get 10% chance of getting there. So, here's nickel. I have 17. Let's go ahead and pulverize. You know what gamers, we're gonna need to do a little bit more mining here. Because we are in need of resonant. The resonant upgrade kits, so we'll actually go do a lot of mining right now. So, energy cell, builder, and then another steerage crate will be fine. Where's our filter here? And the shape card. Not the right filter. Not the right filter. The right filter. Here we go. So shift click. Just place these as markers. Alright, get that started. And make sure we have the chunks claimed here. Let's go ahead and uh, unclaim all chunks in this dimension and place them here. There we go. So, we're looking for nickel so that we could turn that into... Do the good old Enderium ingot. Oh, actually, I could also use Cinnabar. No, I don't have a Pyroconet set trainer. Oh, yeah, I could just use Cinnabar on a Nickel Ore and get Plat that way. Cinnabar, how do you get one? Just pulverizing the stabilized redstone? Odd. Ooh, I could use the Cryodium I find, I make, into Cinnabar Ore. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I found 18 nickel right there, which is good. Alright, the quarry is done, and hopefully we can get this working. Oh shoot boys, I accidentally unclaimed all my chunks. Oopsie. Let's go ahead and put that back. That could have been bad. There you go, let's make sure it's chunk loaded. We probably had to go to the nether real quick and get that going too. All right, let's claim this chunk. There we go. Let's go type slash home. You know, I'm, sorry. I'm just gonna assume that was lightning, that small explosion I heard. Yep. So, we, actually, yes, I was about to do this thing. So we'll have this out. We'll have this like this, and we'll have this push. There we go. Hey, it's working. Okay. So we got cryotium, six thousand, six buckets. It's okay amount. So I was saying that I wanted. All right. So I want to use an induction smelter. On Cinnabar. On Nick. 
Yes. So to get Cinnabar, I'm going to need to uh, use my Cinnabar or and use Jelly Cryotium. I'm going to need another Fluid Transposer then. That's fine. Let's get that going. So I got the Fluid Transposer here. And I want it to receive. Yes. Okay. That's going to have to work, right? So I'm going to need Cinnabar. Boom. And I need it to pull from this drum. So is it like this? Hmm. It's not working. Maybe we need to use conduits. So we'll extract the cryotium and have it received like that. Okay, good. And then it's going to the cinnabar like that. All right. I'm gonna upgrade that machine before we forget. Actually, no, not yet. Let's go ahead and make sure this works first. We need nickel. Well, okay, I actually got two plat out of that. Anyways, nickel. So we've got 23 nickel here. Let's see. There we go. And it just wants us to use it, an induction smelter. I don't even have one. Let's go make that real quick. All right. So let's just gonna place it right here for now. There we go. Induction smelter. Let's put the center bar here and lock it. And use the nickel there and it should produce us plat and nickel is also useful by itself too so that's fine there it is platinum good let's go ahead and upgrade these two machines to signalium all right here we go that should go a little bit more faster now at least all right so that's good I'll say that's a cinnabar. Let's go ahead and make some more storage crates. Alright, we got our crates. Like that. We'll just put the cinnabar. This. Okay, good. We got 21 platinum ingot, which, are, which is plenty enough to upgrade our machines, hopefully. So, let's get this pro processed. Alright gamers, so I got 64 Ender Pearls, 16 Plat, and 48 Lead. That will get us qu quite a hefty amount of Enderium. So, let's get that going. I'm gonna use Sand here to turn the Enderium base to Enderium Ingot. And you know what we need. I need some Glowstone. So, let's go use our builder. Alright gamers, so I do believe that this chunk has been mined. Actually, you know what? We have energy to mine out this entire chunk, I believe. And I actually want to add obsidian to our filter here so that it doesn't take that away. So, Builder, here's the filter, and add obsidian, there we go. Yep, we're gonna take out this entire area, boys, let's mine it. For the point of mining it, because I need some glowstone. So, we'll have it like this. And honestly, it could go straight back to our system. So, let's do that. So from, from here to there is the plan. I guess that's fine. 80 by 64. So let's go ahead and place that there. And let's go start mining. That's going to be quite a while. I guess while that does that, let's go actually go mine some glowstone. 
Alright gamers, I hope this is enough glowstone for quite a bit. Let's see, glowstone, there we go. Let's see what we got. We got Ethereum base, okay. Let's go ahead and get sand and turn that into the good old Ethereum. There we go. How much this powder we got? Go ahead and honestly, yes, I want it outputting right here. There we go. So that should go on forever. Right? Right. Alright, gamers, let's go mass produce some good old Lumium. Which just needs these three things tin, glowstone, and silver. Alright, hopefully that will be done. Honestly, let's go put it right here. No, we can just wait for it to be done, honestly. It's fine. Alright, I'm kind of just waiting on my ores here, my ingots. So I could get things done. Let's go up ahead and upgrade machines we need to. That's two machines. Alright. Alright, there we go. Made it a little bit more easier to look at. Alright, we got some Lumium here on the ready. Let's go. Let's go ahead and make our nine resonant upgrade kits. If possible. So, there you go. And there we go. Let's go ahead and upgrade these guys. Actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and uh, queue up more Cryodium. Because I know I need that for sure. Hey, bro, a lot of snowballs? That's crazy. Okay gamers, we're gonna need quite a bit of things here. So I need 36 buckets of cryodium. I'm gonna need 144. Oh, cryodium dust. It's gonna take a while, honestly. But we'll get there. We will get there, gamers. Let's go ahead and try to move these. Alright gamers, here's the plan. Here is the plan. We are going to crab our compression dynamos here and move them somewhere else. Alright, we're gonna set this new setup somewhere else because I want that to happen. Honestly, I think right here would be fine. Cause it might look cool. Just might, maybe. Go ahead and place it right here. We'll have dynamos facing up. Alright, let's turn them the right way. There you go. We'll just put back these conduits. And into this flux plug. There we go. And we're actually going to upgrade them right now. There we go gamers, I've upgraded everything to Resonant, which is their max level, and I'm actually going to give them this Augment, the close looping one. There you go. And now, they could use... Alright. So we're going to use Cryotium, Jelly Cryotium, in these compression dynamos. And then we shall use... Let's go get some tanks and their tanks all right let's go ahead and send this to our storage up there so we'll have this sent in yep and we'll get the color brown for this is just short for the good old huh where'd it go that's weird found my two fox plug there we go I don't know why they didn't give it to me earlier okay 
Then we'll have uh, the brown powder, and we'll use that as the dye. So we're gonna place our canola over here. The refined canola insert. Let's go ahead and give that a filter too. All right, we got it filtered to only receive canola oil. There we go. Because I know this will go empty. That's why I did that. So now we'll have the ender tank like that. But we will color it brown for canola. Uh, to be honest with you guys, I don't know what canola looks like in real life. <laughs> it just looks brown, or at least the refined canola oil does. So we'll have that to extract and then insert here. Then we'll have another brown ender tank. Like this. So these these two ender tanks are now linked. Which we will then send the canola up into here. But first let's give it some cryotium. So we'll have this to insert. Alright, then we'll have the cryotium get extracted and round robined. Good! At least we have a little bit of cryotium to everyone. That's the important part for now. Then we'll have this ender tank extracting like that. Boom! And we are producing 120 RF per tick. Okay, it's not bad at all. Alright, let's go get some more cryotium because I know it, I, I kind of want to fill it up. I don't know if that does uh, anything. But I am going to do that. So now we have compression dynamos over here that's connected to our farm. Which is great, which is great. So we got our compression dynamos with a cl close looping augment. So our coolant is no longer consumed, which is great, which is when we're using the maximum level here. It's called the jelly cryotium, which is great. All right, gamer, I think I'll end the episode here. We got our cryotium. And we got to the max level of the upgrade kits and thermal expansion, which is great. Some big progress. Honestly, I think the next episode we're gonna have to do. We're gonna need to upgrade our canola farm. This little pad of fertility is what I've been looking at. But we're gonna need slime. It's just gonna be crazy. So we are definitely gonna need a little bit more RF before we get there. So yeah guys, I'll be ending the episode here. Like and subscribe if you have anything to say to me, suggestions, questions, criticism, hit me up in the comments. So 